Okay, eight day review of the Smart Miles box that's been attached to my car. Um, the previous videos you'll find um, on my page. Um, and um, I'm going to keep reviewing this throughout the year. I'm considering getting a dash cam because, um, quite frankly, um, other road users who don't have smart boxes or uh, smart mile boxes clearly or black boxes clearly um, have put us in very dangerous predicaments. Um, this morning I looked at my app and I'm a hundred for everything except for acceleration. Now this really wound me up because the only time yesterday that I accelerated was to overtake two cyclists, sorry, three cyclists, which were evenly distributed apart. Not enough for a car to get in between each of them so we could slowly sort of leapfrog them safely, but um, bunched up in all kinds of ways and changing their distance between each other. Very bloody inconsiderate, actually. Um, but that's cyclists. Cyclists have a whole different bunch of rules on the road, apparently. And if there's any cyclists watching, really, really... Um, it just frustrates me. Um, so the Volvo that was up my backside the entire time of following these um, cyclists on a very long straight near my village, um, they were, um, as I say, evenly, uh, not evenly distributed. So I couldn't leapfrog them or leap in between them and overtake. Um, so the guy behind me was so close I couldn't see his lights number plate in my rear view mirror. Um, which is very dangerous. And I thought he, at one point he was actually going to overtake me as well as the bikes um, with oncoming traffic. Um, because he was frustrated. Bless him. I think there might have been a small willy convention going on up the road and I think he was a bit late. Um, so... Uh, my review of overtaking things is that it's not safe. Having a black box isn't always safe. I was so mindful of not um, breaking the rules that... Um, and I wouldn't have been breaking the law to overtake those cyclists. I would not have gone over the speed limit. I would not have accelerated too fast. And well, I didn't. Um, I managed to pull off the manoeuvre without breaking the um, the law. Um, but my Smart Miles box graded me down the points. Now, if I hadn't have accelerated out of that situation, the guy behind me would have put myself and the cyclists and my children um, and him and his family at a very great risk of the oncoming cars. He couldn't judge the speed of the oncoming cars, nor could he really truly judge the um, behaviour of the cyclists. Um, he didn't know what they were going to do one moment to the next. He could have, they, could, they could have decided to turn right, um, in which case would have all been done for. They didn't have mirrors on their bikes. They couldn't, weren't able to look. Now, when you're overtaking somebody, I was a motorcyclist for many, many years. When overtaking somebody, it is imperative that you make eye contact with that person so you know that I person is using their mirrors effectively and are able to judge what you're about to do in relation to their own behavior these guys didn't have mirrors so they assumed there's a car behind them but they didn't know the size of the car they didn't know anything about the car and and I had to overtake these people um I waited for a good gap for the cars in front to really, uh, sorry, the cars oncoming to really have a nice big gap. And then I went in, went, I overtook the first one. The first, two, the next two were quite bunched close together. So I um, waited for them for a better gap. Um, and I overtook them and I slowly got up to the speed limit. Um, and, um, the Volvo couldn't overtake the second ones. He, I was, I was watching him in, in my mirrors. Um, he couldn't overtake the second lot of cyclists, so he did wait there and eventually caught up with me and was no longer up my ass because I was doing the speed limit. Um, 
which was fortunate. He clearly was just frustrated with the bikes, not with my lack of speed. But I had to go at that speed because that's the speed the bikes were going and it wasn't appropriate to overtake. Oh, my days. What's on, fella? What's on? You got a big stick. My little boy, we were walking in the woods and he's, um, we picked up some birch for our bird cage. And um, he's just decided to, yes, to put the birch across his, his body before we go out. Um, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, not only did I get marked down, I also felt like it was quite dangerous. It could have been, you let, let's suppose that the Volvo did get pissy. Hello. It's only, it's not, it's not, it's not real. It's just a twig. It's just a big fat twig. It can hurt you. You bumped yourself on the head with it. Wow, what do you think to that? No. It's quite a cute lesson. Um, look. Look. Acorn. Oh. Oh, acorn. Um, so back to review. Um, yeah, I didn't feel it was very safe. Um, I'm pretty pissy I lost a point. So um, that's my review at this time, eight days in. Um, not overly impressed. Um, I don't feel like the style of driving is very safe. You know, a couple of times I've really had to get myself out of shit. Uh-oh. I'd best go and see to the munchkin. Um, thank you for listening. Um, if you're considering getting one of these boxes, watch my other videos um, and see an honest review. Um, I'm not. Uh, they've the Hastings Direct have left a comment on my face on my on my videos. Um, I'm not being paid by these people. I'm pay. I'm not getting discount from these people. This is purely my response to it in real time um so um enjoy um and i will let you know again how i get on um considering a dash cam just to back me up really um and considering doing a video of me driving um while videoing so that they can actually see what's really going on um let me know in the comments what you think okay bye